to the German language distance learning program for beginners. This is a joint program conducted by the Indira Gandhi National Open University in collaboration with Max Müller Bhavan, the German Cultural Center in India. Herzlich willkommen zum Fernkurs Deutsch als Fremdsprache für Anfänger. Ein gemeinsames Programm zwischen der Indira Gandhi National Open University und dem Goethe-Institut Max müller Paven, dem Deutschen Kulturzentrum in Indien. You're listening to Radio D, the radio language course of Redaktion D. A joint project of the Goethe Institute and Deutsche Welle Radio. The author is Herat Mese. Hello and welcome to the 15th episode of your German course with Radio D. Last time, Eihan played a prank on our two journalists, Paula and Philip, in the Carnival Malay, which especially shocked Paula. And she's not the kind of person to take something like that lying down, so she's thought up a carnival prank of her own. Have a listen to what she's doing. Eihan, du bist sehr schick. Eihan mit Krawatte. Was ist heute los? Heute ist Karneval! Karneval! Das war doch sehr lustig! Sehr witzig, Eihan. Und das ist auch sehr lustig, oder? Schnipp, schnapp, schneck! Ist die Krawatte weg! Oh, nein! Hilfe! Hilfe! Oh, <lacht> na schon gut, okay, das war nicht so lustig. Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung, ich spendiere eine Pizza. Eine? Rache ist süß. Well, that was quick as lightning, but maybe you were still able to hear that Paula cut off Eihans tie. Krawatte with the scissors. Schnipp, schnapp, schneck. Ist die Krawatte weg? In some parts of Germany, this is a carnival prank that women like to play on men. But only in the week before Rose Monday, on the Thursday, when the women are officially in charge. But Paula isn't too bothered about the timing of this custom, especially as Eihan still thinks his prank was funny. <laughs> das war doch sehr lustig. After a short cry for help, which could just be part of the game, Eihan does apologize. Oh, nein! <laughs> Hilfe! Hilfe! Oh, <laughs> na schon gut. Okay, das war nicht sehr lustig. Entschuldigung. And Eihan announces magnanimously that he'll buy them a pizza. Pizza to make up for it. Ich spendiere eine Pizza. One pizza for three people is not exactly a lot. But anyway, the good mood's been restored. Eulalia, the talking owl, has heard everything and she comments that revenge is sweet. Rache is süß. Yes, a little getting your own back like that can be pretty satisfying. But then Paula and Philip have to get to work. They take to the streets with a tape recorder collecting impressions of Carnival, a time when many people slip into different personas in their fancy dress. Hallo, liebe Hörerinnen und Hörer. Willkommen bei Radio D. Radio D. Die Reportage. Let the atmosphere work on you a bit and have a listen to what this woman likes.
der Vogelfänger bin ich ja stets los. Durch heißer Hopsassa, ich Vogelfänger bin bekannt, frei, alt und jung im ganzen Land. Ist das nicht herrlich? Und das Kostüm kann schön wohl. All the people are exuberant. They're dancing, drinking and singing. A woman is really enthusiastic about the music and about the costume of feathers that one of the men is wearing. He's dressed up as Papageno. Papageno, the bird catcher in Mozart's opera The Magic Flute. Der Vogelfänger bin ich ja stets los durch heißer Hopsassa. Maybe you thought that the German the woman was speaking sounded a bit strange. That wouldn't surprise me at all, because she didn't actually speak High German, but the dialect of the Ruhr area. They say, for example, dat instead of das. Is dat nicht herrlich? Und dat Kostüm kann schön wohl. In all the hurly-burly, Paula spots two people, probably father and son, wearing wings of exquisitely beautiful white feathers. Paula and Philip want to know who they're pretending to be. They ask the little boy first. Try to hear who it is the boy is playing and what it is that's most important to him. Hello, du bist aber schön. <laughs> Wer bist du denn? Siehst du das denn nicht? Ich bin Icarus. <laughs> Na klar. <laughs> Entschuldige bitte, Icarus. Sag mal, kennst du die Geschichte von Icarus? Nö, ist doch real. Hauptsache, ich kann fliegen. You may have picked up whom the boy is playing. Icarus. Icarus, a figure from Greek mythology. Ich bin Icarus. And like the figure he represents, the boy says that being able to fly, fliegen, is the most important thing for him. Hauptsache, ich kann fliegen. And the way the boy sees it, anyone should recognize immediately who he is. That's why he responds to Philip's question with an astonished counter-question. Can't Philip see that? And he asks it in a broad Berlin dialect. <laughs> Wer bist du denn? Siehst du das denn nicht? Ich bin Icarus. So the boy knows he's Icarus, but Paula can't imagine him knowing the Icarus story. Geschichte. Sag mal, kennst du die Geschichte von Icarus? And as she suspected, the boy doesn't know the story and he couldn't care less. Nö, ist doch real. Hauptsache, ich kann fliegen. This mythical story of Icarus and... No, let's leave that till the next episode. Now, you can probably still hear the way the Berlin boy spoke, and I can see that the professor wants to tell you something about that. Und nun kommt unser Professor. Radio D. Gespräch über Sprache. Do you remember the woman's reaction to the man who was impersonating Papageno? I asked the listeners whether they thought the speech of the woman sounded strange. Yes, I do indeed. Mm. And to prevent the impression being created that people had also disguised their language in Carnival, I want to draw attention first to the various ways German can sound. The joy of the woman expressed by the question, isn't that splendid, would sound like this in high German. Is das nicht herrlich? But because she's from the Ruhr region, it sounds a bit different. Is das nicht herrlich? Well, there are probably different pronunciations and sentence melodies and dialects in all languages. I don't know, but I expect so. So just prick up your ears. The boy's question, can't you see that, would sound like this in high German. Siehst du das denn nicht? But in Berlin dialect, it sounds like this. Siehst du das denn nicht? I'd like to talk now about a peculiarity of some verbs in German. 
Listen to the Berlin boy again and watch out for the verb form in the first word. Siehst du das denn nicht? You might not immediately recognize that the form do you see, siehst du, belongs to the infinitive to see, sehen. Yes, that's what I wanted to point out. For some German verbs that have the vowel e in the infinitive, the e, as in sehen, changes into ie, as in ceased, which is spoken as a long e, in the second and third persons. Sehen. Siehst du das denn nicht? Okay, thanks, Professor. That'll do for this session. You're welcome. You can have a listen now to some of those scenes again. Listen first to the prank Paula plays on Eihan. Eihan, du bist sehr schick. Eihan mit Krawatte. Was ist heute los? Heute ist Karneval! Karneval! Das war doch sehr lustig! Sehr witzig, Eihan. Und das ist auch sehr lustig, oder? Schnipp, schnapp, schneck! Ist die Krawatte weg! Oh, nein! Hilfe! Hilfe! Oh. Na schon gut, okay. Das war nicht sehr lustig. Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung. Ich spendiere eine Pizza. Eine? Rache ist süß. Now hear the encounter with the man dressed up as Papageno. Der Vogelfänger bin ich ja stets lustig, heißer Hopsessa. Ich Vogelfänger bin bekannt bei alt und jung im ganzen Land. Ist das nicht herrlich? Und das Kostüm kann schön wohl. Paula and Philip notice two people wearing white wings. The boy is dressed up as Icarus. Hallo, du bist aber schön. <laughs> Wer bist du denn? Siehst du das denn nicht? Ich bin Icarus. <laughs> Na klar. <laughs> Entschuldige bitte, Icarus. Sag mal, kennst du die Geschichte von Icarus? Nö, ist doch real. Hauptsache, ich kann fliegen. In the next episode, there'll be more about Icarus and his father. Liebe Hörerinnen und Hörer, bis zum nächsten Mal. You've been listening to Radio D, a German course of the Goethe Institute and Deutsche Welle Radio. Besten Dank, dass Sie unseren Deutschkurs für Anfänger eingeschaltet haben. Detaillierte Informationen über den Kurs bekommen Sie im Studienzentrum, Regionalzentrum und im Max Müller Haven. Thank you for tuning in to our German language program for beginners. Detailed information regarding this program is available at your study center, regional center and at the Max Müller Bhavan. Mm-hmm.